Hey oh, oh Spin Snake here coming at you with another figure review. And today we have got the NECA Hi Bucci. The NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box set. Now I believe this is a knockoff, but honestly the packaging looks good. So honestly, I'm really not too sure if it is a knockoff or not. The packaging the deco in here, there's like the way it's printed, it looks like it could be a copy, but I don't know if they've gone that way deliberately because of the art style of the era of the films. So I'm not sure. So, what do we think of the Ninja Turtles? Come on, I know I do have that video on my channel which is infamous, which I'm not really going to go into, but what do we think of these movies? They are legendary. While they are not good movies, <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're great movies. They are really, really good. And I'm so happy that NECA have released these uh, figures. It was when I saw their one quarter scale, I was like, oh, I want them, but I don't collect that that scale. But I was so tempted. So I'm super happy and excited that they have actually done this scale. So let's have a quick close-up look at a packaging. It's going to be really difficult because I'm very far away. Now I can see, you might notice the background is different. Do not worry. Uh, if you did like the sky one or the space one, uh, I only have a small piece of that that and it just kind of <laughs> it doesn't cover here i think it stops like like about here or something so i am going to potentially get more of that we shall see but for now i've gone back for blue so as you see on the front of the packaging you have the nice teenage mutant ninja turtle down down there along with a picture of the actual figures they do look very very cool and the necro logo down the bottom there along with the figures there on the top of the packaging you can see it does say Nickelodeon, TNT and Ninja Turtles, the figures. On the side of the packaging, we have a picture of Donatello. And again, same little wording. On this other packaging, we have a picture of Raphael. You can see the colour of that, if that was Mikey or not. And then another picture of Donatello. Then on the back, we have Leonardo and Raphael. And then we have the movie cover on the bottom. And there is the bio for those that would like to read it. That's very cool. I've actually got Pixel Down, Fush, Zack Ryder. I don't know who Zack Ryder is. I don't know if he's a reviewer as well. I've never heard of him before. Then on the bottom of the packaging, some legal jargon. Now, the cool thing about this packaging is... So slow. <laughs> so here we can see uh, the actual window for the figures and we can see what they really do look like. Uh, a little bit concerned about Leonardo's arm here. I'm hoping it's just bent backwards, but it could potentially be broken. A bit worried about that. But they do look very, very cool, and I am loving it. I was also disappointed they've only got two sets of hands. But no, there are additional hands hidden in the spines here. So we'll have a look at that when we get out of the packaging. So as you can see, you've got Leonardo, Dante, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Some pizza slices. All of their weapons here and here. Uh, ooze, and then their bandanas there. So very, very cool. On the side of this packaging, a picture of all four turtles from the figures. The logo there. Then on the back, some shots of all four figures in some decent poses. Very, very, very cool. So, without any further ado, let's get these bad boys open and see how good they really are. So, just quickly, inside the packaging underneath the actual figures, there is this cool art here. As you can see, it's just an a sewer. And it does kind of expand a bit like that to each edge. I don't know how you can see it with the lights. Um, but it is very, very cool. And I do really like it. Not sure I'd actually use it, but it is something just to make a note of. Now, <laughs> my one was actually upside down in the packaging, which is quite funny. And here you can see, like I was mentioned earlier, all those extra hands which were hidden behind the actual box. And these are the figures where I've taken them out. Okay, and we are back with these guys out of their packaging. First impressions, what do we think of them? Honestly... Oh my god, they are crap. I would not recommend these at all. <laughs> Jokes. These things are freaking awesome. Ah, oh, Neck have absolutely outdone themselves with these. They're amazing figures. Now, as I said at the start of the year, this is the knockoff, and I do believe this is the knockoff version because there are some fundamental issues with these, which we, we shall cross in a moment. One of them is very, very, very annoying. Uh, uh, and yeah, we'll come to that a bit. But the general paint quality and of these ones are really good. And the hinges in the joints are fundamentally really good as well. 
There are some issues though, but yeah, I mean, I don't really like the idea of condoning knockoffs, uh, but I personally don't think it's fair that I should miss out on such an amazing set because the cost of them is just ridiculous and very, very kind of like awkward line. But, you know, I, I, I am so happy I've got these. Uh, I really am. And yeah, I'm, I'm loving these so much. So where I got these from is I got them on eBay and they cost £68 posted. That was from the eBay seller. A C Toys, A for Alpha, C for Charlie Toys. Now, I believe they are a Chinese seller and I believe they are located in China because it does say the location of this was, was Hong Kong. But I purchased these on the 28th of March and today is the 6th of April. So it took a very short space of time, especially from a China post to arrive. So I'm very, very happy with that. I will try to remember to leave a link in the description below. Right. Let's address the issues. By the way, guys, I managed to get a new lamp and I think it's giving me a much more even balance. So hopefully this should help resolve some of the issues I've been having so far. So issues. Now, one of the main issues they all seem to have is a little bit of like the J leg. Now, this is fundamentally because this plastic here, if I bring this light right in, you can see is not actually connected. So it looks like they've come apart a bit. So basically what you need to do is close it down and put some glue in there and hopefully that will help. So that's one of the issues. The other issue is, is here. Now I'll go over the articulation later on, but one of the points articulators they have is a diaphragm joint from here. So they can, they can move the top part of their shoulders, not massively, but this company, whoever has actually made these knockoffs has for some reason sealed this. So it doesn't budge. Now I've actually freed it on the rest of the turtles. See, so there is movement there now. And you can see there is some glue there from where I had to free it. So it's not the nicest, but it does give that additional. So I just wanna make you guys aware, if you do want that extra articulation like me, you are gonna to have to manually do it. Now, the way you do it is not pleasant and it sounds horrible, but you basically have to get something in there and just give it a bit of a Jiggle, but you don't want to put too much because you don't want to bend the plastic. Right, you see, see it starting to go now? There you go. Damn, that did a bit too sharp there, so that was my bad there. Try and bend that down a bit. But once you break that seal, you can then see he has some movement. So you can go that way, you can come forward and go back a bit. And you can tilt that way and you can tilt that way. It's not massive amount, so you're not really gaining much. So for people that aren't that fussed, I perfectly understand leaving it there. But NECA have sculpted stuff in there to kind of hide the joint a little bit. Uh, it's very noticeable with the glue here, so I'm definitely going to have to try and pick off this glue to make it hidden. But I mean, just look at that. I mean, it's bent over quite a bit there. Now, this is a uh, harder plastic for this. I think this is a soft plastic with the official ones. So that's a bit irritating. But I feel like, if you look in there, See that as a gap? I feel like there might be an additional point of articulation under the shell. But I watched a couple of reviews for these uh, official ones and no one else noticed the bottom half. So I don't really want to play around with it. I might pry the whole things open and have a look, but for now, I'm not going to. Okay, tell a lie. I got curious um, and I wanted to show this to you guys as part of the review. Uh, uh, yes, this is a separate piece. So basically you have the shell and then a floating piece there and a floating piece there. Uh, so I don't know if it's like a double ball peg in there. I haven't taken it apart, but I did pop it open here to see what was there. And that bit does move independently. It's again, you're not getting loads of movement in it. So I really wouldn't worry about it too much. But if you really were hyper um, obsessive articulation like I am then there is an additional part just there so apart from the loose hips and the frozen 
joint there. The only kind of nitpicks is the skin tone in here doesn't match perfectly. Uh, I believe these are supposed to be a soft rubber, but they're hard rubber, so it does hinder the articulation a little bit, which is a bit frustrating. And there's a few plastic tags hanging off on certain joints like that, see? So not the best, but not the end of the world, because you can take them off quite easy. Right, that's with... The, that's with all of the figures. I forgot something to say about all the figures. The paint around the, the face, the lips, is a bit too heavy on pretty much all of them. But we'll, we'll cross that when we go over details in a second. Now, Leonardo has his own issues here. Um, he swords, as you can see, they're, they're fine, they're pretty good. But it's actually the sheaths. Um, so this sheaf is attached here, and you can see how bent it is going around his shell. So if I put this in there, this is not gonna work. So I could pull this out, but that's still not gonna work. So what I did is I've untached that there, and I have to heat that up and then straighten it, because that present, I can put it in, I did put it earlier, and it just went straight round, so it's just gonna warp it, so I'm not gonna do that. The other one, I can't even get the sword in. That's as far as it'll go in, and I really don't wanna force it, because I'm worried about snapping this, so I need to somehow I might just, there's a seam there, like just there. I might just pry this open and then try and clear whatever blockage is. So be aware of that, which is a bit unfortunate straight off the bat. Okay, hands. So, all the Ninja Turtles come with a pair of these hands here, which say weapon holding hands. For example, here's Raphael here. And as you can see, that is exactly the same as this hand just here. These are Leonardo's, but they're pretty cool. Um, a nice sculpt into them, nice shade. I don't know why, but on my viewfinder, these come over very, very dark green, but they're not. They're quite a nice pale green. They do all match. So you can interchange these with any of the tails, which is absolutely fine. And of course, you've got two thumbs up hands, two slightly relaxed hands, two high five hands, and then two like single finger pointing hands. So I don't know if these are holding the pizza slice. Let's try it quickly. So yeah, that'll work for holding the pizza slice. But you can balance it on that as well. So, <laughs> and the weapon horn hand holds the pizza slice as well. <laughs> you also get four bandana pieces. One sets on the tail out of the packaging, and then you get an extra. Uh, the only real difference I see it depends on which shoulder you put these on. If I grab our guinea pig Leo, um, you see if I put this one on. Oh, it's not going to go on, does it? There you go. So that's for hanging over his left shoulder. And then this one for his right shoulder. So there's no actual like sculpt underneath. There's a little bit of paint underneath, which doesn't really make sense if there's no sculpt. Um, I think they could have maybe just painted it and it just got away with it. So I do feel like this is almost an unnecessarily accessory. Um, I generally don't really care which shoulder my Turtles bandanas are hanging over, but I suppose some perfection out there. You can have it kind of flowing in the wind a bit, I guess. I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. I don't think the extra bandanas are really needed. Okay, and what would the Ninja Turtles be without their weapons? Of course, you'd come with two katana, two size, two nine shots, and then one bow staff. So, the katanas, as you can see, they are really nice. Nice shiny silver in there. Bit of like weathering on there. Uh, it's not the cleanest, but it's okay. I'll just come straight off right there. Um, but they're quite nice, and they do fit in the <laughs> gripping hands quite securely. I'd probably say Leonardo's hands fit in the weapon horn hands the, the best. Everyone else just seems to be just a little bit loose. <laughs> Can't even get off. <laughs> Uh, the nunchucks, very nice little bit of detail. They're quite accurate. They're hexagons uh, with two little like nunchucks in there, and it is an actual string holding them together, which I do like. This one's a little bit of extra glue just there, so that see where it's hanging just from there rather than actually there. It's just like a little bit of glue, so that's a bit annoying, but you know I can live with that. This one's, I oh, see, hangs fine from there, but this one separates and it won't stay together. So that's a bit frustrating. But yeah, um, I do kind of wish he had like a. Hand with with was it that which he did, 
Oh, no, sorry, he had, a, he had a hand with, with like, the nunchuck spinning around like that, didn't he, in, in the film. So I think that would have been pretty cool, uh, but wouldn't have minded that. Or if he had, like, a, the NECA uh, 8-bit ones have, where he's got one nunchuck like that and then one that's, like, constantly spinning around. I think that's a very cool effect, and I wouldn't mind have had that as well. The size, again, like the katana, very nice, nice silver here. Uh, it's more weathering around the straps here. Really, really nice, very show accurate, really like this. And uh, I'm very happy with this at, uh, in, oh. Didn't show the nunchuck in the hand, sorry. So the nunchuck does fit very loose, at, uh, like really loose, so it just hangs there. I think you saw at the start, I had both in. Uh, you can't get them all the way down, which is a bit frustrating, but you can kind of like do that, which is pretty cool. So it looks like he's he's ready to go, um, but when you just have the one in, it's it's incredibly loose and it just kind of wants to fall out. There's no other real hand you could use. Everything else is open. This is like the most closed hand that we, they have. So that's very, like I said, very frustrating. Um, the only thing I can think to either resolve this is some blue tack in hand, or some string around the nunchuck to make it thicker, uh, or hot heating up Mikey's hand and maybe closing him a bit. To make it a bit more of a tight fit. That's probably going to be what I'm going to do. So like we're saying with the side. It's really really nice. Uh, some nice weathering on the actual handle there. It does look really really good. And the silver does come across really really nice as well. And this does fit in the hand a little bit better. But still it's a bit loose. So I'm going to have to do it probably with his hand as well. And then finally, the bow staff, very simple here. Some nice kind of weathering throughout the whole stick and then a little bit of detail for the actual strap around the grip. So it's quite nice. Uh, it's quite a nice size. I think it's quite accurate. So I don't remember his staff being quite that long. But the same problem with most other weapons here. As you can see, it's very loose in the hand. So with Donny, again, I'm going to have to probably heat it up to make the hand a bit tighter. Okay, so we're zoomed in for this one. This is the next accessory. It's a TCRI. Um, canister which has the ooze which created the Ninja Turtles in it and you can see that it does have some nice like details on it, it has a TCRI logo on there some like warning logo some little writing there which I think isn't actually legible oh, warning hazardous material ah. I can't read that from this angle but I can see it on camera that's very cool very very nice uh, nice all around and what I do like is actually included the crack where it came out so I do think that is really really nice It'd be cool if there'd been some green in there or some black. To have it just silver is a bit silly. Um, so I might like paint some black in there to just like make it look like an empty canister. Or I might put a drop of highlight green in there on black kind of thing. But yeah, really nice inclusion. Uh, there's no hand that can hold this. So the best one I probably can do is probably this one. Yeah, that holds it quite nice, but it's a very snug type fit. The also, you also get four pizza slices loose and uh, you can see, I don't know how you can mix out, but basically they are identical. Um, so that all toppings are identical. There's no like difference in it, which I don't really care about that. So I'm happy that they've done. I'm, I'm happy they've included because obviously Ninja Turtles, their favorite food is pizza. Um, so that's very, very nice. Let's have a close up look at this. See, there's some really nice kind of sculpt in there and yeah, they've done some nice little bit details for the actual, like, I don't know what they are, olives, meatballs, peppers, I guess with the crust. All in all, they look really, really nice. I'm very happy with this. Now, what I didn't notice was actually under the packaging, taped to the bottom of the clamshell, was this, which is very, very, very cool. I'm so delighted about this. And this is obviously a Domino's pizza box. <laughs> tile game pizza, I like that. Obviously, they couldn't get the rights to include Domino's in here, so I think they've very cleverly, very cleverly, um, Got around that this way, and it comes with like I said, little offer. Very, very cool. Just a little bit of like thick paper, so I, I didn't need to do that. And then the pizza itself is really nice. Some details on there, free delivery. M. Angelo. Oh my god, date the night for the 12th. Well, it's American, it? so it would be uh, the 12th of September 2019, wouldn't it? That's so cool they actually included things like that. And one of the awesome things is, is you get more pizza slices here. And you can see inside the box is a little bit of dirt there as well, so that's very, very, very cool. 
so you can actually do a whole completed pizza. Now, while I'm not a big diorama guy, that's so freaking sweet. It makes me very happy. Just the attention to detail in this box is amazing. I shouldn't be impressed, or I shouldn't be as impressed with this box as I am, but it just really is blowing me out of the park. So good. So again, another amazing addition, and you can hold this box with this hand. So speaking of hands, I think it's about time we gave Leo his back, or maybe some different ones. So they're very simply interchangeable. Uh, we are going to go for I'm going to go for an open hand, and they each have hinges, which is really good. And they very simply just peg You ever notice, whenever I use the word simply, it never goes easy. But yeah, very simply, just peg in there. Now, the downside to only having the two is you can't do the the two open hands, whereas you can't do the four-way cowabunga. So you can only basically make them clap with one other tail. So that's a bit frustrating, but, you know, um, we'll give him a good old... Thumbs up. Hey. Okay, articulation. So, all tails have the exact same articulation. So we'll start off at the very top. The bandana is on just a peg, so you can rotate it around, rotate it around, rotate it around for, uh, to 180 either side. The heads are on a bigger double ball, so they can go back that far and forward that far, so you get a great range out of that. And they can pivot left to right. Man, his thing's proper beaky, isn't it? <laughs> And they can rotate around full 360 degrees. Just work with the actual bandana. Uh, the shoulders are on. Skip that. Shoulders are on borders, so they can go up that far, and they can rotate around 360 degrees. Uh, you are going to, have to work with the shell, and I don't know if you can hear that. They are nice and ratchety, very good. Now, there's no bicep rotation, which does frustrate me, but I don't mind because they've included the double joint in the elbow. So some poses are not going to look the best like that or like that, but you do get a double bend in the elbow. Um, with this, if this is, uh, because it's hard plastic, you don't be able to, you're not able to use the full use of it. So you get just around 90 degrees. But then like I said, you do have the rotation there. And the more you go around, the less you get. In fact, that's even starting to come apart there. That's not good. You can also rotate at the upper part of the wrist there, 360 degrees. You might have to do it when you get out of the packaging. There's a rotation at the wrist and all hands, like I said earlier, have a hinge which can go down from there to there. Now be careful, these are a bit pointy, the uh, little ties around the strap. So be mindful of that. As mentioned earlier, if you have freed your joint up, then they can go forward that far because he's got the strap holding him back, back there, and then you get a little bit of pivot from there to there and a little bit of rotation from there to there. Nothing really in the waist. Um, like I said, there is kind of that thing in there, but I haven't freed up on Donatello. Um, like I said, this is a hard plastic, so it's going to hinder the hips. So he can do a Spartan kick with this leg all the way back, this leg all the way forward of that. But can do an amazing split kick of that. There is up fire rotation, but due to the sculpt, you are going to be hindered from there to there. But there's also up and knee rotation. That can go around 360 degrees. Much like the elbow, you do get the double bend in the knee. But again, not quite 90 due to the sculpt of that. And the hin ankles are on a hinge. They can go down from there, up to there, and from pivot from there to there. And as Lake Glen Webb used to say, utilising those ankle pivots, this is the first possible splits he can do with both feet firmly on the ground. Okay, so as for detail, as you can see, they pretty much are identical. The spots on them are slightly different and the shades are a little bit different. The hands are all identical, but Mikey's shoulders seem to be slightly brighter, same as Donnie's, whereas Leo Leo, hi Leo, whereas Leo and Raph seem to be a bit darker. Uh, the rest of them do seem to be relatively similar. The shading in the shoulder and knee pads is identical, so shoulder, knee and wrist guards are identical. 
And of course, the belts are individual. So as you can see from, we'll go from right to left, Mikey's does have a little bit of silver on there. And then as you go around, there's some silver on the back. Very, very kind of sloppily just splodged on there. Now, Mikey is the only one that doesn't actually have any storage designed into his his thing. But I believe the nunchucks can go in, got two there, in here, which I think is actually movie accurate. There you go. So they can just store in there. A bit neater than that. I'm just literally chucking them in, obviously. Um, so that's pretty pretty cool for, for the mic stuff. Now, having a close-up look at Mikey's head. As you can see, he's kind of looking a bit over to the right a little bit, which is not the ideal position of the eyes. Not a big fan of that. He's the only one who seems to be looking off. But his eyes are the most widest as well. Uh, there are teeth in there, but they've not painted them, so there is just dark in there. But all in all, it's quite nice, and I am happy with that. Have a quick closer look at the rest of it. You can see there is some nice shading throughout the actual front of the shell, and the spot's quite well painted, as is all of the shading and whatnot in the leather straps. The shell looks amazing, and it feels amazing. Really, really happy with that. And the shading does commence throughout the entirety of the figure, front and back. So very happy with that. Okay, Raphael next. He also has weapon storage and he has two holes here on the front just for his size. So very, very cool. Do really like that. Once again, some nice detail there in the face. Uh, they have actually painted the teeth. Don't know how well that's coming over. Actually, you know, I'm mistaken. They've not actually painted the teeth. They are definitely still green. But you can see what I mean about the splodgeness of the actual kind of nose part, the mouth part. They've literally just slopped a bit of paint on there. But his eyes are also pretty good. I really do like them. And they do look a bit more centered. So I'm very happy with that. Donny next. Again, nice big bit of slop on the actual nose. Uh, his eyes are actually not too bad at all. And I really do like that. Now, his belt is a bit frustrating because it's well sculpted. But they've left out the loops on the back. So I can't actually attach his uh, bow stuff. There should be two little loops just here to attach that. So I'm going to have to either thread something through there, or I don't know what I'm going to do. In fact, you know what I might do? The cable tie that came with it, I might just actually feed this through like that, and then snip it off and it makes just two loops there uh, for it. But I'm not going to do that now. So just an idea. And finally, Leonardo, as mentioned earlier, Lots of like extra paint on the nose. I think he definitely got the worst of it. I think Mikey's the best and he's the worst. And But yeah, really, really happy with the sculpt. I do think it does look very nice. With the exception of that, there's a little bit of splodge on his arm as well. I've just noticed. I didn't notice that until just now. And his sword sheaths are really, really nicely sculpted and good, well painted. Just very warped. So all in all, very happy with that. Okay, so just a very quick size comparison. As for their height, these guys are... Six and a half inches tall, which is 16 and a half centimeters. I'm not going to do any size comparisons because I'm aware this video has already run very, very long as it is. Okay, guys. So, okay, guys, final thoughts. Would I recommend these figures? Honestly, yeah. Really, really do like these figures and they are amazing. NECA has absolutely blown out of the park with these. So happy with them. I do think that if you can afford the real things, um, then these are an acceptable substitute. But I really wish I kind of could afford the actual real ones because these are just absolutely amazing. I'd love to have the actual real ones in hand. So anyway, guys, that is my video. Uh, I hope you did like this. Sorry it was a bit long-winded. Obviously, four figures to go through. You guys know from like the A-Force one, that took forever. Uh, but I hope you did like this video. I thoroughly enjoyed playing this. I've had such nostalgia uh, doing this review. And I am so ecstatic to have these. Uh, now, what I was going to say, it did... Cost me £68 for this lot shipped. So that works out about £17 a figure. That's a good price for, for a figure. Um, before I go, uh, I haven't fixed that. I've literally kind of jimmied them in just so it looks like it. <laughs> Quite chuffed to that. That just came over a lot better than I thought it would. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, I hope you liked this review. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you help you make a decision if you want to delve in to get a the full versions or if you'd like to potentially go for the knockoff ones. Um, I would just prefer NECA to release these at this price and they would just fly out the door. They really would. So NECA, if you are watching this video, please do 
um, release these again and again and again. And definitely release those foot soldiers and that shadow that you've just done in one quarter scale down in this scale. Definitely will be picking one of them up if they do. Because, man, oh, I would buy all the uh, original movie figures if they did them all. So they could do the uh, the mutants, foot soldiers. A super shredder would be pretty cool. I know he's only here for like one scene. But it would be pretty cool if they could, they could do one of them. <laughs> Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you did like this review. Hope it did help you out. Make a decision if you do want to buy the bullet for these. And please like, comment and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you in my next one. <gasps> See ya.